What is cinder? Where to use cinder? Benefits of using cinder in gardening. Hello and welcome my friends. Hope you are well. Now you are watching your favorite YouTube channel, Gardener's Gardening. As your interest in gardening is increasing, you will learn new gardening materials like perlite, vermiculite, cinder etc. Today, I am going to tell you what is cinder and what are the benefits of using it. What is cinder? Cinder is the material left after the burning of coal or stony coal coming out of the ground. Most sole cinder are a byproduct of industry, where coal is used for burning at high temperature or in a power plant, where electricity is generated from coal. As it is a waste product and, if we use them, it will be good for the environment and the dependency on soil will also be less. Cinder can be mixed with other organic ingredients like compost, bone meal, making it suitable for all-purpose gardening. It can be used in alternative of perlite, gives perfect aeration for roots. Cinder gives excellent growth to plant, no fungus, no infection attack will happen. What is natural cinder? When the magma comes out in the form of lava from deep inside the earth during volcanic eruption, after cooling of lava it solidifies to form cinder. There are high mountains of cinder cones all over the world, which make a different but beautiful landscape. Most of Hawaii's islands are made of such lava debris. Natural cinder is not found in India, as there is no active volcano in our green India. Natural washed cinder does not contain charcoal. Cinder is pyroplastic material extrusive igneous rock, which has so many holes that its low density allow it to float in water. Cinder is brown, black, red depending on its chemical content. Where we use cinder? It is a premium material which is used as growing media for plants that needs very little amount of water. It is mainly used for roses, succulents, cactus, adenium, snake plant, lithops and orchids. You can take 80% cinder and 20% any compost. If you want to grow rose in cinder compost media, you have to water every day. After 15 days you can see new growth that will start appearing. You have to add fertilizer from time to time, as it is a soilless media. So, minerals and micro and macro nutrients are needed to supply from outside. Garden beds can be built with cinder blocks, may be fine for flowers or ornamental plants but, avoid to grow vegetables, fruits and herbs. Toxic materials found in fly ash can leach from the cinder block into the soil and then into the food. Still some people grow vegetables, strawberries in cinder blocks, but it may not be good for health. Why should we use cinder in potting mix? Benefits of cinder in gardening Cinder is the best botting media for succulents than any other. It contains various natural minerals and nutrients that help to boost the growth of succulents. Number 1. Solace Medium, for its granule-like texture, with its color, and a new creative effect to your indoor space. It is also easy to handle and does not dirt anywhere. Number 2. Succulents, cacti love the porous structure. Air can flow freely and reach to the root system. Granules can be broken into smaller pieces, 2-4 to four millimeters, also. Root gets more space to grow freely. Number 3. As it is porous and coarse, it is very lightweight than soil, it makes the pot lightweight so helps in shifting the pots from one place to another. It is also good for hanging baskets as well. Number 4. It gives a good drainage system. Water flow does not get blocked and excess water passes out quickly to the drainage hole underneath the pots. Overwatering cannot cause damage to your costly succulents and cacti. You will not see any root rot or yellow leaves due to overwatering or water logging after using cinder as potting mix. Number 5. Don't be worried to give sufficient water to succulent or cacti, as cinder do its job. New gardeners choose this always because they always get afraid of overwatering. Number 6. Fungal infections and pest attack will not occur if you use cinder, so your plants kept safe and healthy with their vibrant color and shine. Keep these in mind. Number 1. 
In summer, it needs to water twice a day because of its quick drainage. Number 2. Fertilizer can drain easily so, it is problematic. Number 3. It is highly alkaline pH, 7 to 8, so, for acidic soil loving plant you cannot use cinder. This imbalance is challenging to maintain the pH preferred by plants. Therefore you can use it for certain plants only. Why is it necessary to wash the cinder? If you get cinder directly from factory, wash it several times even you buy it from cinder, also wash at least twice. You have to show that it contain no ashes as they can damage the plants. How to use? Step 1. Select a pot with proper drainage holes. Step 2. Mix 80% cinder and 20% compost. Step 3. Fill the pot with this mix, gently loosen the root ball or wash it to clean the soil, place the plant in cinder mix. Step 4. Fill the remaining space with this potting mix, then lightly press it down, remain 1 inch space at the top. Step 5. Water thoroughly until excess water gets drained out from the bottom holes. You can buy cinder from online. Gardening is a natural science and full of experiments. So, use it first, if you get something wrong, share your experiences here. We will learn more from your experiences also. If you like the video then definitely comment us, press the like button, stay connected to us by subscribing our channel. You will get interesting and useful videos related to gardening. If you want any video on any topic related to gardening, don't hesitate to request me. I will try to make a new video on that topic at the earliest. See you soon in my next video, till then, stay blessed and happy gardening. God bless you and thanks for watching.